In this informative video, we delve into the world of circuit breakers, exploring the differences between single-pole, two-pole, three-pole, and four-pole variants. Join us as we unravel the complexities of these essential electrical components, offering expert insights to help you make informed decisions. Whether you're a novice or an enthusiast, this guide will empower you with the knowledge needed to navigate the circuit breaker landscape effectively. Classification of circuit breakers by poles. The main circuit of a circuit breaker can be made of single pole or multi pole, two pole, three pole, etc. The pole of a circuit breaker is that part of a circuit breaker associated exclusively with one electrically separated, conducting path of its main circuit provided with contacts intended to connect and disconnect the main circuit itself, and excluding those portions which provide a means for mounting and operating the poles together. According to IEC 60898-1-2019, circuit breakers are classified according to the number of poles. Single-pole circuit breakers. Two-pole circuit breakers with one protected pole. Two-pole circuit breakers with two protected poles. Three-pole circuit breakers with three protected poles. Four-pole circuit breakers with three protected poles. Four-pole circuit breakers with four protected poles. The pole which is not a protected pole can be Unprotected Switch neutral A protected pole is a pole provided with an overcurrent release. An unprotected pole is a pole without overcurrent release, but otherwise generally capable of the same performance as a protected pole of the same circuit breaker. Note 1, to ensure compliance with this requirement, the unprotected pole may be of the same construction as the protected poles, or of a particular construction. Note 2, if the short circuit capacity of the unprotected pole is different from that of the protected poles, this has to be indicated by the manufacturer. Switch neutral pole is a pole only intended to switch the neutral and not intended to have a short circuit capacity. General Differences Preferred values of rated voltage depending on the type of circuit breaker, number of poles, see the table on the screen. Effect of single-pole loading of multipole circuit breakers on the tripping characteristic When circuit breakers having more than one protected pole are loaded on only one of the protected poles, starting from cold, with a current equal to 1, 1 times the conventional tripping current for two-pole circuit breakers with two protected poles. 1, 2 times the conventional tripping current for three-pole and four-pole circuit breakers. The circuit breakers shall trip within the, the conventional time is 1H for circuit breakers of rated current up to and including 63A and 2H for circuit breakers of rated current above 63A. Single-pole circuit breakers. A single-pole circuit breaker is a type of electrical safety device that is designed to protect electrical circuits and equipment from damage due to overcurrent or short circuits. It is called single-pole because it interrupts only one of the two conductors in a typical AC power circuit. Single-pole circuit breakers are usually used for overload and short circuit protection in single-phase two-wire electrical circuits of electrical installations of buildings to protect individual branch circuits, such as those that supply power to lighting fixtures, outlets, and appliances. They are available with various rated currents and can be used with both 120 volt and 240 volt circuits. Two-pole circuit breakers. A two-pole circuit breaker is an electrical switch that is designed to protect an electrical circuit by interrupting the flow of electricity in both the live conductors. It is called a two-pole breaker because it controls the current flow in both live conductors simultaneously. Single-phase short circuits occur in the electrical installations of buildings, in which short circuit currents flow through the phase and neutral conductors. For more reliable protection against single-phase short-circuit currents in single-phase two-wire electrical circuits, it is advisable to use two-pole circuit breakers with two protected poles. 
Two-pole circuit breakers are commonly used to protect larger appliances such as electric water heaters, air conditioners, and electric ranges. They are also used in commercial and industrial electrical systems to protect larger equipment. It's important to note that a two-pole circuit breaker cannot be used as a substitute for two single-pole breakers. This is because each of the two live conductors in an electrical circuit requires its own separate protection from overloads and short circuits. Three-pole circuit breakers a three-pole circuit breaker is an electrical safety device that is designed to protect three-phase electrical circuits from overcurrents and short circuits. Unlike a single-pole circuit breaker, which interrupts only one conductor of an electrical circuit, a three-pole circuit breaker is designed to interrupt all three conductors of a three-phase circuit. Three-phase circuits consist of three conductors, each carrying an alternating current that is 120 degrees out of phase with the other two conductors. A three-pole circuit breaker is required to protect each of these conductors from overloads and short circuits. Three-pole circuit breakers are usually used for overload and short circuit protection in three-phase four-wire electrical circuits of electrical installations of buildings. Four-pole circuit breakers a four-pole circuit breaker is an electrical safety device that is designed to protect three-phase electrical circuits and equipment that require a neutral wire. It operates in a similar way to a three-pole circuit breaker, but it includes an additional pole for the neutral conductor. A four-pole circuit breaker is designed to interrupt all four conductors of a three-phase electrical system, including the neutral wire, which is the return path for the electric current. Single-phase short circuits occur in the electrical installations of buildings, in which short circuit currents flow through the phase and neutral conductors. For better protection against single-phase short circuit currents in three-phase four-wire electrical circuits, it is advisable to use four-pole circuit breakers with four protected poles. The neutral conductor is a live conductor. If its circuit is open, there will be less probability of electric shock when working on the electrical equipment of the disconnected circuit. Four-pole circuit breakers are commonly used in industrial and commercial settings where three-phase electrical systems are used to power large motors, machinery, and other equipment. They are also used in residential settings to protect circuits that supply power to appliances that require a neutral wire, such as dryers and ranges. And there you have it, folks, the lowdown on single-pole, two-pole, three-pole, and four-pole circuit breakers. From homes to industries, these devices play a crucial role in safeguarding our electrical systems. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your fellow voltage enthusiasts. And as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to explore, leave them in the comments below.